hinder you, hinder you. Don't you let where you've been hinder you. Don't let what they've said hinder you. Hinder you. Don't you let your past hinder you. You're a woman without limits. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. The latest issue of Woman Without Limits magazine is out. Get your copy today by simply dialing the numbers on your screen. For more information, visit the Woman Without Limits Facebook page. Woman Without Limits. My name is Reverend Kathy Kuna. What a delight it is to be bringing you tonight's telecast. Let me tell you, we've been having an awesome, awesome time in the Woman Without Limits programs. Oh my God. And the kind of programs we bring to you, we want to thank you for all the feedback that you give us so we know that we are truly affecting lives. And that is what the purpose for Women Without Limits is all about. We are not looking for fame. We're not looking for a big name. We just want to affect lives. That's who we are. That's what we are all about. And so when your life is affected positively, that's all we care for. And so keep those calls coming, keep those tweets coming, keep them on. We love you and we just bless God for the fact that you keep on tuning in to Women Without Limits. The stories we bring you are for real. They are real human beings that have gone through the stuff that they do go through. And in the last few weeks, we've been talking about abuse. And so many women have been abused so, 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 so badly that uh, in every few families, you find that there is absolute abuse, either emotionally, physically, mentally, socially. I mean, it's just been one abuse after another abuse. And I believe that the programs have been helping you to know that you can actually come out, you can be delivered, God can set you free from every form of abuse. And tonight, we are continuing with the same series of abuse. This wonderful, wonderful man and woman of God are both going to come to the studio and they have a story that is absolutely profound, absolutely life transforming. Bishop Bob Kabogi, together with Bishop Cecilia, who is his beautiful wife, have a mighty and marvelous story to tell us. They've told it even on Turning Point. They've told it on, 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 on CNN. It's been a story all over. And today we are so honored to have them on Women Without Limits. Let me tell you, when you hear the story, it does sound like a myth. It actually sounds like a horror movie. Like, really? Did it really happen to a human being? Now, we are going to introduce you to the real human beings. They're not acting. It's for real. It happened to them. And so guess what? If they came out, you too can come out. You're watching Woman Without Limits, and I'm telling you, nothing can limit you. You need to get out of every limitation and know that you can ascend to any level that God created you to go to. You have a purpose, you have a great calling, and you might as well just look deep beneath the surface and look beneath the pain, and you will see that there is greatness within you. And so tonight, I want you to welcome with me Bishop, uh, 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 together with his wonderful bishop wife. Both of them are bishops, I tell you, and they have this wonderful, marvelous church uh, in Kikuyu. They're going to tell us all about it. And before we do that, I want you to put your hands together and welcome them. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Karibu, Karibu Bishop. Hi. 
karibu sana. Karibu sana. Yeah. Now most of the times we go through diverse challenges in life mm -hmm. and many of us unfortunately don't want to come out and speak a lot of people never say where they are coming from they never say the other side of the story we can see the glory it's clear but many times people just hide the story because they just want to look glorious all their lives but this wonderful couple after going through so much hell they went through impossible situations they are here to share with us and let us know that you can actually come from that quagmire from my clay and still become somebody in life now uh, bishop bob yes. you have gone uh, through uh, uh, many many issues and especially in your marriage yes. but perhaps before we get to your marriage you might want to tell us where you grew up and how you grew up mm -hmm. you know to see whether there is any uh, connection yes yes uh, yeah. reverend kathy I, mm -hmm. I grew up in a typical african family uh, my father was um, a polygamous person. He okay. married many wives. And um, uh, we grew up in that condition where uh, women abuse was normal. It was normal in our day-to-day -day living. We could see our mothers being battered here and there. And uh, we, we thought that was the way life is. The way forward. The way forward. You could actually see your, your father beating on your mother. Yes, they uh. were beaten by my father. Uh, and my, our neighbors beat their wives. Our uncles beat their wives. So it was the order of the it day. It was the order of the day. Yeah. The woman was a person without a position in our society. Yo. And um, having said that, the, 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 the abuse of women was a normal cultural thing. Nobody was even asked where did you beat or no, it was just the flow. In fact, they used to abuse us with our mothers. You look like your mother. Don't be silly like your mother, you know. Oh we were God. abused with our mothers. So yeah. we, 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 we accepted that norm that um, it was normal. That but women were stupid. We, women were stupid. They were not clever. They didn't have um, uh, any position in society. That is what we grew up knowing. And oh, that wow. is how we grew, we grew up. Well, how many were you in the family? Uh, my mother sired uh, uh, nine, nine children. She uh, was busy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she was. Uh, the, 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 the second, uh, my dad's second marriage also had a few of them, uh, I think six. Yeah. And the third marriage had, uh, I think, uh, four, four. Wow. Yes. Yeah. So yes. he had three wives. Three wives. And he was working on all of them very well. He was the man of the house. <laughs> he, was, uh, he was like um, the, 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 the king. And the star. Yeah, he is. So when he would beat them, they would be just fine. Oh, it was, it was, it was never thought as abnormal. Really? To abuse women. No, it wasn't. Oh, my God. And, uh, and that is what I, I believed myself. I, I, I saw that. And, yeah. Uh, that was the normal life to me. A woman was just a thing. Just something. Yeah, to be, you to be, just to be, to be, to be, be seen, turned around. To be and seen, not to be heard. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, did you hear that? To be seen and not to be heard. Not to be heard, yes. Right. Yes. Um, uh, and, and Bishop Cecilia, tell me how you grew up yourself. Our family was totally different. My parents, in fact, my dad was an altar boy. Hello? Yes. Yeah. My, when he was young. My mother was the chair lady of the Catholic women uh -huh. in Moranga. And we are talking of the that is there. Yeah. My grandmother gave the Catholic Church the land when they landed in our area. Mm -hmm. So I grew up in that kind Christian of Christian environment. Yeah. So my dad had one wife. I've never seen him drunk. I had never seen him fight my mother or if they quarreled, they did it <laughs> in secret. In secret. Yeah. So I <coughs> thought that that life is that way. On Sunday, Dad would pack us in the car off to church, you know. Yeah. So, so that I thought that's a normal life. Life. Yeah. People are happy people and are happy. and okay together, and they never fought or quarrelled. We quarrelled. We yeah. went to the best of schools yeah. in the country, and we thought, okay, that, that's the way it should that's be. That's a good life. It's a good life. Yeah. yeah. And you had siblings yourself? <laughs> yes, I do. I have two sisters yeah. and one brother. Uh huh. And they are married. At least my sisters. And we all went to those good nun schools, you know. 
<laughs> when you were told even smiling to a boy would it's make very, you it's, pregnant. It's sinful. Oh, <laughs> you get pregnant. <laughs> Did you hear that? It would make you pregnant if you smiled. <laughs> yeah. You know, it reminds me of a story. My mother-in-law, <laughs> she, 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 she tells me that, you know, she was told, even if a boy touches you like this, you become pregnant instantly. Yeah. Yeah. So she went into a bus and a man stood next to her and touched her. She went home and said, I'm pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was asked. <laughs> the mother asked so her, what? what happened? She said, I stood in the bus and this Somebody man came and stood me. next to me. He touched me. <laughs> so, you know, so yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah, if a man smiled at you, yeah. you'd cry the whole day because you'd not know how to... <laughs> <laughs> to deal with that. To deal with that. That scene. That, that scene. horrible scene. Yes. Yeah. And of course you go for confession yeah. and not knowing whether you be told you are pregnant or not. Because a man smiled at you. Yeah. Yeah. It was that serious. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so tell me, yes. um, uh, uh, Bishop Bob, mm -hmm. when you are now grown, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. now you're grown, yes. you're all ready to get married. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are still having that mindset oh, yes. of a woman is nobody. I, I, I knew nothing else. And yeah. nobody took the time to kind of uh, teach me otherwise mm. or tell me otherwise. Mm -hmm. And that is the, the background I came from. So here I am, I wanted to get married. And uh, all I knew is that even the woman who comes into my life must also follow suit. And be like your mother. And be like my mother. If you're beaten, just take the just beating. Take the beating and, 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 and persevere and uh, <laughs> life goes on. Yes, what's the big what's deal? What's the big deal? Yeah. And that, that's how I, 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 I developed. Right. Yeah. So you met now uh, your, your bishop wife, I met, Cecilia. I met this beautiful lady. Yes. Uh, 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 in a very interesting way. However, that's another story for another day. And uh, we decided to get married very quickly. Okay. We went to no counseling. Nobody taught us anything. There was no counseling. All I knew is I was I wanted to marry her. Yeah. And there I was. Why uh, so? Why so? Mm, I, I wanted somebody in my life. Okay. I, I, I really uh, wanted uh, a wife. Yeah. I, I wanted a wife, and um, uh, I felt that uh, if I if, if she came into my life, uh, she would probably uh, uh, run the, the the shoes or run some errands for me. Yeah. And uh, that's probably all I wanted. I didn't have any foundations. And there she was. She became my wife. In, we got married in 1980. Wow. We got married in 1980, a church yeah. wedding. It yeah. Was, it was a Catholic church in Thika. Mm -hmm. And um, So you went and told your parents yes, that you've gotten this beautiful girl? Yes. Yeah. And uh, they, 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 they came. They came to her place. Okay. And brought some things, those, those traditional things that are brought. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And, Finally, we agreed to get married. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it was a nice big wedding. It was. So, so far, the courtship was good. During the courtship, yeah. everything went well. Uh huh. But I think that was another person who was there in the courtship. It wasn't okay. me because the real me is a different person. Because now the real you, in, in, in the real you, yes. you were still, when you met her, yes. did you ever imagine that you would touch her in any way, in any abusive way? I knew at the back of my mind, yeah. if she doesn't conform, if she doesn't conform, <laughs> she will go through the normal process. Uh, hello. I, I and the normal she, process she was know, she didn't know fivefold ministry. Fivefold ministry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But she she probably she didn't know that. But yeah. That was at the back of my mind because that was my foundation. Yes. Mm -hmm. So so uh, Bishop, when you met him. You, you, he whisked you off like something else? No. <laughs> <laughs> what shall I say? <laughs> I was not that keen on marriage. I was 22. I Hello. was having the life of my life. I had a good job in the bank. My life was okay, kind of. So and you were young. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I met this young man. He proposes. I think it was... In April, by November, we are married. So it is like a what shall roller say? coaster. Mm. Roller yeah. coaster. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you also see, this man is very handsome. Mm. He was, and uh -huh. at his age, he was even driving a car. Hey! Mm. At oh, yeah, he has so, a, a Ford Cortina. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> so not only is he handsome, uh, he's also not well. Mudieki. Yeah. No! <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he had a house in South Sea. But yeah. it was not so much what he had, yeah. because I'd seen richer guys. Yeah. Uh, that was not it. Uh, Catherine, by then, we uh, had gone to Kenya High School, so money was not the... Mm, the issue. The issue, yeah. really. Yeah. And marriage was not really the issue. Yeah, right. But it was after my neck. Uh, what shall we say? Mm. If he doesn't all see was, me, uh, eh, he gets sick. He was sick. all over you. Yeah. All over her. <laughs> yeah. If he doesn't see me, uh, he gets sick. Okay. So you to decided to bring him. a healing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His brother could call me. His brother could call me. Oh, where are you? Uh, you know? Yeah. Bobby is very sick. For real? Yes. Uh, he would not even go to the office. Hiya. Uh, yeah. Bob. Okay. <laughs> and I would visit them at the see and find a very sick guy. And then when he sees you, he heals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said this one, the only way is let's bring a total healing by just walking down the aisle. Well, there was nothing really wrong with him. You see what I mean? Yes, yes. He was the ideal man. Yes. I mean, at he 24, he is driving, yeah. he has a house, he is yeah. all together, he's working. Hey. Yeah, they, I, had uh, a, I had a good job. Yeah. You had a good job? I had a good job. Mm. Yes. And the, um, one of the things I, I really wanted um, uh, uh, Cecilia to marry me was because I wanted to show the thing that was inside me, is I wanted to, to, to conquer this lady. I wanted this woman because I thought she was very beautiful. Yes, and she still and she is, still my is. goodness. Yeah. She still is beautiful. Yeah. I can but imagine her at 22. Yeah, you can imagine now that time and she's much okay. younger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, I really wanted that. And inside me, there was that drive saying, this is it. This is it. Yeah. Yes. But that shows me that there was a responsible guy in you, there was. no matter what. You know what I'm saying? There was. Because honestly, at 24, and then you're that responsible mm -hmm. with uh, with uh, already driving and with a house and with yes. a nice job, yes. and now even wanting to settle. Yes. That shows me that you were responsible yes. somewhere deep within. Yeah, that, that, mm. that, that's what was there. But uh, you see, this this responsible person yeah. has been brought up otherwise. Clouded. Clouded with, and uh, that, 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 that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's the challenge. And uh, I, 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 I believe that even the, 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 the best of a person, mm. when he goes through some training, which is wrong, he will come out wrong. Right, it's mm. true, because it's right. true, mm. it's true. So tell me something. So yes. now here you are, you decided to get married. Yes. Okay. How was the first year of your marriage? Um... Don't go for the first year, go for the first day. Eh! Eh, whoa! Eh! We get married, now she's fully committed. Yes. She's now on my side. She has walked down the aisle. She has walked down the aisle. Yes. Uh, I think we, we, we quarreled on the first day. We, 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 we had a problem on the first day. Eh! Because on the wedding day. The, the wedding, wedding day. day. Yeah. What yes. happened? Now, when we were courting, mm. uh, my grandmother and my people noted there were no ladies coming for the dowry negotiations. And my grandmother was a bit con And she is, said, don't you have women in your <laughs> clan? Yeah. Your family. And so I asked him, hey, how come are, I'm not seeing anyone? Who's, where is your mother? Where is... And he took me to carry a court to a lady. I didn't know that was not the mother, but said, this is my mother. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So come the wedding day, uh, I see, I hear, now I'm in my room, then one woman walks into the room, and I don't know who she is. Then I hear the commotion outside that she's not the one who's supposed to be coming because Bob's mother is there. So I'm saying, okay, at least Bob's mother I know. Yeah. And then it's a total. <laughs> Stranger. Stranger. <laughs> <laughs> and you're thinking, wait up, wait up. No, 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 it's not you. I mean Bob's mom. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're told th this is she. Yeah, I'm told this is she. Then my father-in-law says he will not participate as long as Bob's mother is there. Okay. Problem number one. So the good thing is my dad and his dad went to the same school. We're classmates. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> so my dad told my so they can his never father, old friends. Yes. <laughs> uh, let us stick together. So yeah. even if you see the photograph, my father-in-law is yeah. not on the uh, in-law's side. Mm. He's stuck with my dad. On your side? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so when we leave the church, mm. we get to the reception, we find uh, my sister-in-law has dropped the cake. It's all broken. And they are saying, I cannot be married there with the mother. Now the mother... <laughs> okay, whose mother? His mother. His mother. And the sister. And the they sister. are saying you cannot be married there. Yeah, and the marriage is over because now we've come from the reception. It was in Nairobi. At the police post club. And they've broken the cake. Yeah. Okay. So drama started drama before... Drama started. <laughs> drama started. And um, what happened is that... Uh, the man who has been brought up is finally married. Right. Who has been brought up in very, chaotic. very shaky, yeah. chaotic circumstances. Mm. Finally married. But the lady who comes home to me is a totally different woman. She has no idea yes, and that she, people even fight. Yes. Yeah. And one, one of the things she is, she's organized, which I did not expect because the way I have been told women are, <laughs> this is not expected. <laughs> So she's organized, she's working in a bank. She's, yes. wa she's working in a bank yeah. and uh, she looks very... Together. Together. She knows what she's doing. Yes. So it so confuses you because you've been told me. women are not organized, they're foolish. Exactly. The yeah. uselessness of the women <laughs> does not God. occur here. God so here heaven. I am lost or kind of divided. Yeah. And um, even when we quarreled, when we, we had an argument, yeah. um, Cecilia was much better than I was in argument. I. I <laughs> I, I, I am not, I, I particularly, I particularly am not very good at that. But she comes, she brings out an argument that actually pins me down. It makes sense. It makes sense, yeah. but it pins me down yeah. because I, I, I cannot uh, override it or override it. You don't know what words to put. I don't know what words to, to put to in make it to make it look like I am on the winning side. <laughs> and, and that happens. I like that. When that happens. Yeah. I, I, I cannot add these two people together. The useless lady and this lady who and is in my house. And the proper woman mm -hmm. that is in your house. That is in my house. Wow. And she must remain at the useless level because... Yes, why that, is she being proper? Why is she being proper? Yeah, and I have three mothers yeah. who are well, just have been and useless. And the neighbors and the community. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the whole community. And the whole community <laughs> is like that. Yeah. We'll be right back. So here I am uh, to, to, to put her in, in perspective. Yes, the right place. The right place. Because yeah. I cannot put her in an argument. I cannot put an argument. She beats your hands, beats down. Me hands down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I have to use a way. I have to design a way. Yeah. I have to create a way. To size her. To size her. Yeah. And put her in a proper position. Yes. That's so. how the abuse started. So it started basically immediately, immediately after you married. Immediately after we married. And you're thinking, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. This is not what I know of women. No. Women are supposed to be just doormats. I mean, they're they are, they are just to be there. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, given maybe instructions to follow. And uh, this one of mine doesn't seem to be taking a lot of instructions. <laughs> <laughs> She's the instructor, in she, fact. She, she kind of... <laughs> She puts in even ideas. I mean, it's not supposed to happen. So yeah. I, I, I design a way. Yeah. I design a way of getting her into her place. So all the time when she's acting proper, yes. you're thinking, no, 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 no. Uh -huh. no, no this is not I it. don't have this memo. No. No one sent it no to me. No one sent it to me. I don't know this. A woman is not supposed to think. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, she's not supposed to. Yeah. You, oh, Lord you, God Almighty. You know, you know. Yeah. I'm telling you, Kathy, you, you know, people are laughing about this, but it's not a laughing matter. It it's is a real serious problem that is affecting most men. Yes. Men uh, are, are suffering. And they are in this uh, uh, quagmire, they're mm -hmm. in this uh, situation where they don't know what they Anything want. Anything else. And they have no idea because nobody taught them, nobody told them. How to be men. Nobody revealed to them. Yeah. Nobody mentored them in being men. Yeah. So here I am. Oh. This lady, she earns more money than I earn. Hey. I discovered her salary. Now she's even getting worse. I discovered her salary was bigger <laughs> than mine. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, this cannot happen. A She's woman, not getting better. She's I only mean, getting worse. She's getting worse. <laughs> yeah. So I have to, to, to cut her to size. Trim her down and bring her to size to shut shit. her up. To shut her up. What is it? <laughs> so here you are. So here I am. I've gotten married. He was staying with his, the house he had rented. He was staying with his sisters. They refused to move. So for me, I already also had my house in Buruburu then. So he moved Hello. to her, to my house yeah. so then. At 22, you had your house. Yeah. Hello. Mm. You see, without are limits, are you hearing? <laughs> you don't sit and wait at mm -hmm. until a man comes for you to organize your life. And that is the most confusing part. Yeah. Because nobody tells us that women are complimentary. They come to compliment our lives. Yeah. Instead, we are taught that these are, these are enemies. These are people who, who, who should not even be, be doing the right thing. Be heard. They should just be seen, exactly. not heard. Yeah. So when, when, when a woman has her own house, she has her own little things. By the way, she had a black and white TV. Hey, hey. hello, <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> I know somebody. I, I had I had a car and a car was just uh, something to show that I'm doing things. You're fine. I am fine. Yeah. And um, <laughs> what confuses us is uh, when a man is coming from such a background of no foundations right. in, in knowing what it means to have a family, mm. then we, uh, the men, yes. We get into something that is, um, we get into a complex. Right. Inferiority complex grips us. And when you're gripped with the inferiority complex, this lady must suffer. Oh my God. Because the, 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 the complex justifies, or you, you know you know yourself and you cannot yeah. lie to yourself. Yes. So you're suffering from a complex. Yeah. And here you are, you, you, you don't know even how to express yourself. You don't know how to express it. So this lady must be sufferer. trimmed to size. She <laughs> must be trimmed to size. So now, here you are, you have your house, and now he moves into your I house. I moved into that house, but that house gave me sleepless nights. You know hey. why? <laughs> sleeping, <laughs> sleeping into a, 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 a quote-unquote, a, a woman's, woman's house, house was something I never dreamt of. Never. So it's like you are the one being trimmed to it's size. It's like me who is being trimmed to size. <laughs> Yet, yet, that is not what I know. Yes. That's not what I know. Right. So basically, that move, moving into that house was, was, was uh, good. Another, well, yeah. It was good at that particular time because we didn't have anywhere else to go. And yet, right. he had a house. Yeah. But it actually was another... Blow. Blow. It was another blow too. It, uh, it actually like energized now your inferiority complex. Uh, it energized it? Yeah. It made me now look at, aha, uh -huh, this woman is supposed to be you. So she actually wants she to sit on me, this woman. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, it was, it yeah. was bad. Yeah. And so the complex builds in, the complex sets in. Were you seeing that something is happening? Meanwhile, I was flabbergasted. You see, my, my dad had gone to detention. Okay. And my mom was a teacher. So she worked hard. By the time when my dad came from detention, mom had already bought a land, her own land, 20 acres. And she was working on it. My okay. grandmother, mm. the, she my didn't grandfather, sit and wallow in self pity no, as no. waiting for the father. My no. own grandmother, when my grandfather died, my mom was small. She she took the whole family, brought up her six children, all of them well educated, by herself. So that. Even the counseling I'm getting as yeah. I'm coming home, even when I'm buying the house, my mother is telling me, move. To your house. M exactly. Yeah. Do something. I'm working and my mother is telling me, do something extra. This salary is not enough and I'm working in the bank. <laughs> okay. Okay. So she was a go-getter. My mother was a go-getter. Right. So, so for me, I'm mm. not even understanding where is What's all the this big deal. Big deal coming yeah because you see she's bought land yeah. my father has come from detention and found land and they, yeah. they, they she's said, built her house land. yeah and there's, you know she built her land. Yeah. she had a coffee plantation after that my dad is staying in Nairobi yeah so i have seen it 
to us. It's the it has worked. worked. Yeah. And, 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 and your father didn't come from jail and start scattering her. Why? Who bought this? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Who is responsible for Who's this? Re no, <laughs> he did. <laughs> so, yeah. so I'm not understanding. This, where is this coming from? Where is this yeah. coming so, from? So, yes, I have a house in Buruburu. I'm willing for us to stay together. What is it? What is it? Yeah. I have a good job. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. So he says, you must leave your job. Why? You see, the idea, the idea of leaving the job, <laughs> Yo. the idea of leaving the job yeah. is to bring her to size. Size, yeah. This size is just growing size is taller. Going too much. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you something. Then yeah. we, 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 one day we were sitting and uh, she said, uh, "Why can't we buy a house?" And then I said, "My, my, 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 my. Who is talking now?" <laughs> and working in the bank, yeah, there are so many opportunities. Yes. I don't understand the complimentary role yeah. that a wife gives a man Can like me. Imagine, yeah. And I miss the point. And you see, the Bible says, even before we were created, God called us help me. Yes. So he, she's actually trying to help you to really achieve yes. and go far and in life. My friends started moving out of Buruburu and going to other better, better estates. Yes. So I had actually to move. So I succumbed to the issue of us she actually was offered a loan by the bank. Wow. And we bought land. Yeah. And we, we built a big house, six bedrooms. Very huge. Wow. And uh, of course, now this is me building, isn't yeah, it? Of course. Of course. You're the man. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you're the man. I'm the man around here. By then, I had resigned from... I like you. I, I do. I had, I, <laughs> I had resigned from my from my workplace where yeah. where the job I was doing. Yes. Now I'm uh, doing business. Yes. And uh, I still miss the complimentary role. I still missed it. So you were still very very insecure, and because of the inferiority complex, complex. you couldn't see the good in her. The good in her was not was not. So no matter not, how hard she worked, it did not benefit me. It, yeah, it didn't work out. But we built the house. Yeah. You be, you, of course, you built the house, Bishop. It was me who built it. You see, Catherine, this is something the Bible, if you read Proverbs 31, yeah. uh, the wife of the, yeah. the, the virtuous woman. Oh, the yes. Virtuous yes. Yeah. Yes. She, she was sees a the land, getter. she buys the yeah. land, she deals She's a the trader. Trade. She She's is. A trader. And that is really what I was up to. Yeah. She is a trader. You are being the virtuous woman. Yes. But because of your background. The blindness. Yeah, the blindness. The blindness. And you're going to help a lot of men. Oh my God, I hope Let you are watching you. with your husbands. Because men, every man needs to watch this. Let me tell you. The yeah. biggest percentage of men today, mm. they suffer from that. And, and if they, they were honest like I am, being yeah. honest today. Right. They would say that they have really suffered from that thing. Inferiority, inferiority complex. complex. Yeah. Because what it does, it, 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 it then builds in bitterness in you towards this person that God has given you to become a complimentary person. Oh my God. And you see, yeah. you can never understand that and, until mm. somebody, for me it was the Lord who revealed this to me when he saved me. Yes. But for other people who are out there. So as she was working hard, mm -hmm. you started to beat on her. Yes. How did it begin? How did the beatings begin and how did you take them? Maybe you can tell us. How did you take the beatings? How was the first one? <laughs> now, uh, what happened <clears throat> when we got married? When I, there was abuses. First, he moved in with his sister into my house, and the brother was coming. Then they could go drinking. Remember, I had the one week into the marriage. They, he would go and tell me he slept at uh, his other house in South Sea. So it came to a point my dad could not take it and especially now when I was pregnant. So my dad comes one day, finds there is no electricity in the house, I don't know there is no food, I'm not feeling well, because my dad made a point of passing my house nearly every Sunday evening. <coughs> he was not amused, so he waited for them. So when they came on Sunday, they had not been home from Friday. Oh. Uh -huh. So my dad asks, where have you been? So he says, we were in our other house. Now he's with the brother and the sister. So my dad says, first the sister and the brother get out of this house. Mm -hmm. Of course, my dad had gone and bought meat and made for me meat. Oh, my dad's oh, that, oh that's so good. 
Because he, he reminds me of my dad. Oh, mm, yeah. Yeah. I don't so, want to even yeah. go there. Yeah. You can imagine. Oh, yeah. eh? So my dad is so concerned. So he, he throws them all out and says, when my daughter was living in this house alone, I never came to this house, found no food, no electricity. So you are the ones bringing problem to mind. So Bob, make up your mind whether you'll be staying there in South Sea. Or here. Or here. Yeah. So that I know, because now my daughter is about to get a baby, so that I organize myself. Wow. You wow. See, what a father. Mm, yeah. You see, the, the, the good thing here is the, the abuses, um, they are actually meted out by very weak men. The person oh. who is doing that is a very weak person. And weak in the sense that um, he thinks by abusing or physically or emotionally, yeah. uh, by doing those emotional abuses, he will better himself. He will better himself yeah. or, or elevate himself. Thank you. Escalate himself yes. into another position. Yeah. But uh, the truth is, he is a very, very weak person. Oh my God. Very weak in terms of um, he, oh. he, he is. Uh, we can see he's at his lowest ebb. Right. Lowest ebb. Right. And to lift yourself from there, the fight must kick in. The, 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 the fight. To feel. To feel. Um, um, After all, when you feel her, when you see her depressed, when mm. you see her oppressed, yeah. when you see her suffering, you feel like you a feel macho no, man. You're, you're, you're yes. achieving something. You need to suffer. You need to suffer. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> and uh, and uh, at the end of the day, I, 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 I hit her one time. Yeah. And. Uh, the, the one I call the fight that broke the camel's back was that one. We were coming from somewhere on Gong Road, and uh, we were near Adam's Arcade, and uh, we were, of course, I was drunk. Now, by this time, she could not even take my fightings just sitting down. Now she had learned how to fight also. Eh. Yeah, she <laughs> kind of... <laughs> Okay. She <laughs> cannot, she cannot, um, and this hey. time. <laughs> <laughs> but you can understand where I'm coming from, eh? Yeah. All this time I was quiet. The first time he hit me, yeah. it was after I got, I gave birth to our son. He started saying the son was not his. So he wants to know who the father is. Oh, now, yeah. my son is a duplicate copy of him. Yes. And he <laughs> wants to know who the father is. You know, <laughs> it was not making yeah. sense. And you see, then there's that double personality. Right. Also. After he beat me, he runs home all the way to Moranga with a shopping basket and tells my mom and dad, come and see. I don't know where she went. She came home in the morning like this. So they are all following each other with my dad, you know, driving fast <laughs> <laughs> to come and see what's up. <laughs> you know, and my, my uh, mom looks both, at it. Both, <laughs> you had uh, mastered the act. This. <laughs> You, you look see, so yeah, innocent. See, yeah. You have to protect that person. <laughs> you, you must protect that person. And the protection of that person is protected by lies, lies kicking, unfaithfulness. Because you want to preach to us. You want to to justify. Yeah. The actions. The actions. Yeah. And you also you also want somebody to take some punishment. And also you want people on your side. Exactly. So you, 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 you become unfaithful. Yeah. The, the, the things that you hear on radio sometimes, mm. they're just telling us how rotten our society is. Mm. But the truth of the matter yeah. is that somebody needs to pierce in there and help the men oh. who are in there. Yeah, to come out. And help also the women yeah. who are taking this sitting down. We were at the Gong Road, and uh, I remember I had bought a, a brand new Fujo, those days, Fujo yeah. are their things. Ah, it, it was called Morodi. <laughs> Morodi. Ah, man, if you don't have a Morodi, you're joking. Yes, it was a good one, a blue one, a blue, a blue Fujo. Yeah, and that's uh, a Morodi is a lion, is a lion. Simba, uh, Simba, you know, uh, yeah. And uh, there I was um, when we, we started arguing and it, it, it grew, uh, it grew, it, it built the, 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 the temple, the temple uh, 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 build up. Yeah. I stopped the car, I got out of the car. And that's where she fell. You threw her out of the car. Yes, I did. And um, out I, of a moving car. Yes. At, when I, when that happened, she hit, she hit her head on the tarmac. Thank God the car did not run her over. And when she hit her head on the tarmac, it cracked her her, her skull. 
her skull cracked. And when the skull, the, the doctor ex des described it as a, as a hairpin skull crack. And when it cracked, it, it, it resulted into blindness. What? She became blind. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, she became blind. And when she became blind, by the way, that particular evening, I took her to hospital. I took her to Nairobi hospital. Oh, you went back for her? I, I drove off. I drove off and after a few kilometers, I, I, I thought, what am I doing? I went back. I mm. found her. There was a gutter, a gutter mm. nearby. She was wallowing in that gutter. And uh, I picked her, put her in the car, and uh, took her to Nairobi hospital. And when I took her to Nairobi hospital, they oh asked me God. something. They asked me a question. They asked me, where did you get this person from? Because this person looks like she's been hit by a train. Mm. I said, um, I, I, I picked her from somewhere. I'm, I'm just a good Samaritan. <laughs> you did say it was your wife. I didn't say it was my wife. Yeah. Because I that's another say. trouble. I didn't say because it would have, it would have, it would have portrayed yeah. another thing yeah. altogether. Right. Then um, I, I, oh, they asked me something. They mm. told me, by the way, here in this hospital, mm. we, we do some deposits. You, you have to put some deposit down. Yeah. And so I, I Mm. I gave, mm. I, I paid their deposit. Yeah. Those days it wasn't a lot of money, 4,000 shillings. Yeah. But I paid. And I never went back to that hospital again. Never Please, did. Uh, what are you talking about? Yes, I'm talking about that. I never you, did go. You, so you were totally lost totally. in your ways? I was lost. And um, I was in a, in a very bad shape. And most people, that's where most people are, Reverend Cathy. It's unfortunate, but that's Jesus. where most people are. Yeah. You see a man hitting his wife. Yeah. You see a man uh, 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 cheating on his wife. A man who cheats on his wife is putting that lady through the same roller coaster. And this ends up being uh, a situation where God actually talks about it. He talks that when you are unfaithful to your wife, mm. you are actually an idol worshipper. You are, you are an idol worshipper. Mm. And mm. being an idol worshipper, yeah. God treats you like one. Mm. And there, mm. anything can happen to you. Wow. Anything can happen to you. Yeah. So, she was in hospital for three months. What? Yes. Jesus. Three months. What are you talking about? Yes. Hey. My Three months, God. never visited her one day. What? Never, oh, stop never, it now. Never. What are you talking about? Yes. Dear God. Yes, yes, yes. That's the truth. She was alone in hospital. hospital. Oh, my God. Eh. Yes. And mm. um, um, in the end, she, she came out. It is that she can tell us where she met with the Lord. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, that, my that's, God. Where, that's where she met with the Lord. <laughs> Meanwhile, the skull is... Is blind. She's blind. So now you're blind. You're not seeing at all. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about, dear mm -hmm. Jesus Christ? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? I was in a coma. She was in a... Yeah. For some days. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. No. Now you see, what, had, what, had, what has happened here is... Uh, when I realized my husband's salary was lower than mine, I told him to stop working and we start a business. So I went to my cooperative then and borrowed money. He was working for BML. I said, oh, don't mention the company. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> well, it's gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I said, no, since you're selling computers and whatever, why don't we start the same business? I'll be bringing them. So I used to go to London on Friday night, come to the office by Monday morning with the con computers and his cells. Then he does not bring back the money that I borrowed. <laughs> <laughs> so when you ask for this money, it is war. Mm. It was very hard. It was very hard. Uh, you know, mm. you are trying to help. So that is how now we, we are, yes, he's getting money. Yeah. He can buy the... Uh, Murodi, you know yeah. the the Pujos. The Pujos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He enters the Toyota guys and he comes up with a new pickup. No, he doesn't tell me what he's doing, but now he's insisting I must stop working. 
Catherine, I did not even know the cost of my panty. Why? Because he would buy. He was buying everything, even the milk. I was not allowed to go to the kiosk in case I have a date with the kiosk guy. <laughs> <laughs> I never went to the market in case I met some men on my way to the market. You see? If I came with stockings, who bought this? You see, then it becomes war. So what you're saying, Cecilia, is that now you you toned down everything to f suit him, yeah. to fit into his... Uh, exactly. Yeah, so whatever Even he... Even clothes he buys, he brings. When I wear, he decides maybe it is too smart, he tears it out. The latest issue of Woman Without Limits magazine is out. Get your copy today by simply dialing the numbers on your screen. For more information, visit the Woman Without Limits Facebook page. And you know, in the hospital, I'm put in a private wing, wing room, yeah. room, room. Yes. unknown. Remember, I, I he said he didn't, didn't doesn't know who. But I booked her in a private room. Yeah. Her in a private room. But, but I'm now unknown. you are unknown. <laughs> Because you were brought by a stranger. <laughs> yes, yes, a good yes. Samaritan. There, there is no ID. <laughs> yeah. There is no ID. Yeah. There is nothing. So I'm unknown. So I could not be found. So they had to call in the police and ask him, where is she? And my dad went further and said, okay, we are taking you in for attempted murder. Eh? Or murder for that case. Either mm -hmm. you give us the body or you go in for murder. Yeah. Because at least we can see the clothes. Get a hold of Reverend Cathy's new book, The Transformed Woman. The Transformed Woman book? Oh, if you don't have it yet, you better get it. I've written many books before, but this one is a piece and a half. People are getting transformed as they read this book. It's a beautiful, beautiful read. Guess what? We are reprinting it over and over again because it is actually flying off the shelves. You want to get it, call the numbers on your screen and you're going to get your piece. The Transformed Woman is the book to have right now.